In this problem, we're trying to find the equivalent resistance seen by the 60 ohm source. So, kind of starting on the other end of the circuit over here, first thing we find is 4 ohm and 8 ohm resistor that are in series since they share the same current. And those combine into a 12 ohm resistor. Let's go ahead and just change that out to a single 12 ohm. This circuit also has some symmetry in it, so these devices are also in series. I'll go ahead and swap those to a single resistor. Now we have a 12 ohm in parallel with a 6 ohm. And let's do the math on that real quick. Parallel combination looks like 1 over the resistor plus 1 over the resistance and then 1 over that combination and that works out to be 4 ohms. Again we've got symmetry in this circuit so I'm going to go ahead and take care of this one at the same time. So both of those turn into an equivalent 4 ohm resistor. Now we can see that we have 4 ohm in series with 4 ohms leaving us with an 8 ohm resistor. And right here we have 8 ohms in parallel with 24 ohms leaving us with a 6 ohm equivalent resistance. Now it's pretty easy to see that we've got a 12 and a 6 in series leaving us with 18 ohms, which in turn is in series with another 12 ohm, gives us a total of 30. So this circuit could be simplified like this. Equivalent resistance seen by the 60 volt source is